VE Day today, or the 75th anniversary of VE Day, so wasn't planning to come out for a walk, but it's too nice a day not to, so we're over near the village of Deanthorpe, near Arundel, and uh, going to do a circular walk around what used to be Deanthorpe Airfield in the Second World War, um, home of the 401st Heavy Bombardment Group, B-17 bombers and all, uh, from I think it was 1943 through to the end of the war. Uh, I was last here about 20 years ago, so I don't remember too much about it. There's a couple of decent sites on the way round, but I'm not 100% sure I'm going to be able to get to them. Uh, so we'll take it uh, one step at a time, as it were, but that's where we're at. Uh, US AAF 8th Air Force Deanthorpe Airfield. Apologies for the noise, but I'm in quite close proximity to a tractor, which we'll be getting away from in a mo. Um, we've been just off the airfield so far, but we're just coming up to a track here, which has the telltale concrete base um, that tells you this was part of an airfield. And we're actually coming around to the first site of particular interest for me, because I'm a bloke and it's a big boys thing. Um, but this is where the bomb store was, where they kept the bombs. And it's unusual because they're, for, for, for uh, logical reasons, they usually are kept well off the airfield. But this one at Deanthorpe is actually quite close to the airfield. So we'll be just coming around the corner in a minute onto what was the bomb site. And uh, we'll take a look at what's still remaining there. I will do my best throughout this uh, Throughout this video to throw up any sort of uh, additional text, photographs, videos, whatever, to support uh, what I'm talking about. You know, sometimes pictures do a better job than words. Um, I don't know what I've got, but I'll have a dig around. But uh, yeah, we're coming on to the bomb store now, which is where the bombs were kept on trolleys. Um, and when needed for loading up onto the B-17s, you'd get a little tractor unit would come out here. Uh, hook up to one of these trolleys and uh, drag the bombs out to be loaded up onto the planes and the last time I was here some 20 years ago you could find still the wall that used to sit at the uh, side of the bomb store against which they tied up the trolleys because obviously you wouldn't want the trolleys rolling around freely so I'm going to be looking for that wall and the uh, the big iron rings that used to hang off that wall to which they tied the trolleys which is about all that's left here now but I'm gonna to have to dig around I suspect just notice this rise to the side of here which is usually a telltale sign of an air raid shelter I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to get in there and have a look but it looks suspiciously like an air raid shelter so I'm gonna just go scramble through for a second and see if there's a see if there's an entrance definitely a shelter but it looks like it's completely covered over unusually yeah I mean it may not be it may actually be something to do with the bomb store um, there doesn't appear to be any entrance to it anywhere I'll have to look that one up on my air ministry plans and uh, if I find out what it is, I'll let you know. <clears throat> uh -huh. Right, okay. Well, I thought we'd lost it actually, but you can see, hopefully, in here is a wall. Which was the wall I was referring to earlier. And there should be some, hopefully, metal rings still in place just got to find them to prove my point there we go right
There you go. Those are the heavy duty iron rings they used to tie the bomb trolleys to to make damn sure they didn't move. There you are. Survivors. And these are dotted around on here, there's a few of them. one down there and they're sort of equally spaced if I've got a picture as I say I'll put one up to show you these uh, bomb laden trolleys that used to be tied up here I'm sure I've got one The path we're travelling up now is the path that came up from the bomb store. Um, the track, the T-junction we're coming up to, is the actual perimeter track of the airfield, the Perry track, as it's known. This is where the planes would sort of taxi around uh, to reach the right runways. Um, so we're coming onto the airfield proper now. And this, is, this is where the fun starts. The actual airfield itself He's over there really to the right and into the background. You can see in the distance there's some white sheds. Um, they're sort of on the far side of the, of the airfield. So, you know, it was all that area in the distance there that was the airfield. Okay, well, we're on the perimeter track now, which is in superb condition. Um, this is where really I veered off the public footpath. Probably shouldn't be on here. Um, this, the, all these lands belong to the Dean estate, um, D W E N E, uh, who I, was, I have spoken to in the past uh, about having access to what is still standing here at Dean Thorpe. Unfortunately, the virus thing cut off our communication, so I didn't get a definite yes or a no. Uh, I wanted a definite yes. So it's a case of do I, don't I, can I, can't I? I'm going to wander around and take a look to see whether it's accessible. Um, this whole site has been designated uh, a green village site a couple of years ago. It's, it, you know, it's going to be built on um, in, in some form. I don't know the details. And you have to assume that all this, including the track we're on now, and these buildings, if they're even still standing now, are going to go. And it's that sort of thing that motivates me to say, what the hell, let's go and get, it. Let's go and get some footage while it's still around. So... That's the plan at the moment, let's go and have a look. Right, oh well, we've made it this far. I mean, this site was absolutely uh, mind-blowing when I first saw it. It's, it's half of what it was in 2003, last time I was here. Uh, there were more buildings still standing back then. Um, but they were in a bad state and they've been demolished. Uh, these won't be in a great state, but they're still standing. Uh, and it's just a fantastic wartime setting. It's the only part of this airfield where there's anything really still standing. But yeah, it was a very atmospheric site and still is. I hope I can sort of get around it. I'm gonna have a, have a try and see what's there. I don't know what these buildings are. Um, I used to be able to tell you, but I couldn't now. Uh, but I've got the plans at home, so as we go, if we go, I'll put up whatever details I can find at the bottom of the screen. But this is this was the technical site. This was this was uh, um, where all the air, the air sort of technicians, engineers, all the science-based people, uh, not the airmen and the air crews. They, again, they would be off the site in dispersed sites around here. Um, but this, this was the big technical site, or what's left of it.
this with the buildings uh, having to tread a bit warily at the moment. There's a there's a chap in a Land Rover who's been buzzing around the perimeters of this site for the last five minutes. I'm not quite sure where he is. Uh, so I'm going to try and cover as much as I can without bumping into him, whoever he is. It's like being in the wars, isn't it? <laughs> I think he's one of ours. But I ain't taking any risks. Still very impressive buildings, were not made to last, but last they have. They're actually open on the back side of them in the distance there. It's a matter of whether I'm brave enough to go around there because it's a bit open. Uh, I might just have to have a crack. I sneaked around the back. Don't feel at all comfortable doing this because this is where the Land Rover came. So if I hear the engine of the Land Rover, in case I dive in the hedge fast. in this but I'm going to see if I can get my camera over the top of that. Still being used. Yeah, good job. Time to escape now. I'll push my luck too much. Escaped. Yeah, that's still a great site. Um, it was better 20 years ago, and uh, I don't know, he might survive even if they develop the airfield because it's really just on the edge of the airfield. 
I hope it survives but you can see from the state of the buildings one way or another they're not going to be around for too much longer but yeah it's great to see what's still there and like I say there's a few missing but still a great sight and that's the best part really of uh, Deanthorpe airfield so we're going to get back on the footpath now and breathe a little bit more easily and see what we can find pretty much heading across the centre of the airfield now I think I think uh, these are the footings of one of the runways I will have to check when I get home but it uh, looks a bit narrow actually but uh, it seems to run across the centre of the airfield so it wouldn't be a perimeter track um, so it may well have been one of the bases of uh, or the foundations of one of the uh, of the runways here I well, have mentioned previously that um, the heart of these old wartime airfields is the control tower um, that's where everything was uh, directed from and they are the ultimate find really on any of these airfields there's just so much character uh, and such a vibe about control towers that they were delight to see as the one at Kingscliff was so uh, here's, here's a picture of uh, Dean Thorpe's control tower taken I think it was probably back in the 60s uh, and 70s Right, and uh, well, here's Dean Thorpe Control Tower today. That's it. That's it. That's the site. It was uh, levelled. I think it was in the 80s. I don't know for sure. It was. It was well before the end of the millennia. Uh, the last time I came here, the original sort of. I don't think this rubble is part of the control tower. Uh, when I came here 20 years ago, it definitely was rubble from the control tower. Uh, but it looks like that's all been moved on now, but it's still a yeah, still a, a dump really. Sad to lose it, no one really understood why it was levelled really. I think I read somewhere that the guy who owned the land didn't want people constantly traipsing across his fields to see it. Which uh, I can understand, but it's a bit of a sad way, a sad reason really for losing it. Well, I said it probably was nothing to do with the old control tower, but I suspect it probably was the floor of it, or the base of it. I, I'm just noting. Um, if I get out the shadows, uh, there are stones here with what look like paint on them. Um, which suggests it might have been part of the tower. If it was, it was just the floor. Right, just pretty much adjacent to or even on the site of the old control tower. Um, I think this, these places were set up in the late 60s as a Royal uh, Obser Observer Corps um, station. It was an underground bunker um, and it all dates around the Cold War. And these are dotted all over the country. Underground bunkers um, connected up all over the country and they were kind of lookout posts really. Um, in the days of the Cold War, but sinister. Uh, I'm, not, I'm pretty sure this one isn't open, but we're going to have a look. Yeah, it isn't coming open. But yeah, underground bunker, you go down there. Um, there's a vent over there, so it travelled underground for some distance. There'd be a room in there and a desk and uh, bits of electrical equipment. Uh, and some of these are well preserved around the country, some of them are very well preserved. Um, this one still exists, but uh, I can't really tell you what's down there. But yeah, it's an ROC bunker, to give it its phrase, its term. I think the track we crossed earlier and I said might have been a runway, clearly wasn't. 
I mean it was way too narrow for starters so it was some sort of track unfortunately the map I've got in my pocket doesn't show the runways uh, you can see for certain that um, was one of the runways it's it's the correct width for a b17 bomber and that would have headed off into the distance that is definitely one of the the beds of one of the runways curious looking uh, mound just left of centre not sure what that's going to turn out to be no idea what that is it's in the middle of nowhere for it to be an air raid shelter which is what it looks like uh, I'll have to have a look on my map when I get back unless I can find some evidence walking around it well across the airfield now we're back onto the perimeter track that goes around the outside uh, on the opposite side of the airfield now superb condition it really is uh, in very good nick there we go active airfield and it is one of the runways is maintained and still used by a private uh, airport group we should see the runway a bit better later on but uh, yeah it's still used I've never seen it in use but it is still used all right we've been down and across the airfield uh, along the, the bottom of it next to the main road to Corby and we're now climbing back up the third side uh, to where the active runway is or alongside the active runway and towards the village of Deanthorpe and it's warm if you ever do this walk bring a map because there are not many markers and uh, you've just got to pick out routes that are not marked uh, the landowner hasn't really cut through his crops you're gonna have to walk through fields of crop which I don't like doing but if he doesn't make a path then what are you supposed to do you just got to go by landmarks but we've got a marker here which is a relief it tells me I'm on the right path not many of these through here at all but the path does go through here so I'm back on my map now I do try to make an effort before coming on these walks uh, to identify waterways because I love my little streams uh, so I can tell you what they are but I didn't do my homework on this one uh, throw back to my school days so um, I don't know what this is uh, it's a lovely little stream 
but we're alongside the A43 road to Corby which tells me this has got to be the Willow Brook because the Willow Brook comes from Corby uh, and I'd be gobsmacked if this is not Willow Brook it looks like Willow Brook and it's a lovely clear uh, fast running stream uh, it's got to be Willow Brook and uh, very very nice on a warm day I could jump in there very very good Just climbing up now into the village of Deanthorpe, uh, which I'm hoping is putting on a bit of a VE, VE day theme today, given their close proximity and connections with the airfield. Um, yeah, it's not easy with all the restrictions, but yeah, hopefully they put on a bit of a show. We'll have a look. Bunting, no flags, no nothing. Not a great effort from Dean Thorpe so far. A bit surprised. There you go. Credit to Parkview Lodge in Deanthorpe. Made a bit of an effort. Good job. One house with flags out. Shame on you, Deanthorpe. You live on a wartime airfield and you can't be bothered to do more than that. Yeah, a bit of a shock at that. Never mind, what we live in and all that. There you have it, Dean Thorpe Airfield, or what's left of it. Um, that's been a long one, very warm, about 24 degrees now, and it's still early May, so uh, yeah, hard work. But uh, yeah, good walk, and uh, good, good to see those buildings, because uh, it's 20 years since I saw those, and uh, I wasn't too sure about whether I should go for it, but I'm pleased I did, and now I've got them captured. They may survive a little bit longer, but if they're developing the site, that... Uh, Maybe the last chance I ever get to film them, so I'm pleased about that. So, uh, yeah, if you ever come out this way, get a map. Uh, you need a map. There's not many signposts. Uh, but, but, yeah, it's good. Pretty Dean Thorpe let the side down. Not, not much of a VA, VE day thing going on, which I expected to be the sort of finale of the walk. But there you go. I've got a flag out. I've done my bit. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Back home for a cup of tea now, I think. Add a bit of cake if I can find some.